Coming at you 11 June. Bit of a risk off overnight. Looks like we're going to have a pretty big gap at the cash open uh, in equities. Let's see if she holds. Uh, it's fairly unusual in the last three weeks to have an overnight session that um, is in the red. So we can be careful about this, uh, but risk off is the theme overnight. Uh, here's an excellent chart that we missed. Uh, might get a chance to resell this sterling yen. Bang. Uh, 136.40 was the bingo number overnight. You don't really like to trade sterling yen in Asia. Um, so, miss that. But this is a pattern that a lot of people will be following. And what we like about it, it has kind of like a 300 point target. Lots of clear air below. Uh, looks like we're heading down to 133. So, short sterling yen today looks okay. Uh, Aussie, we did sell a little bit of that there at the close after this massive failure. Took out stops at 43. Quick move to 70. High was 69 that we saw. Is that really true? 70, 62. 69 traded on the ladder. I didn't even see it. Um, and I was long Aussie at the time. Um, but then she just didn't like it up there and Powell I don't know maybe he was his aversion to answering hard questions or maybe his focus on the hard road ahead for employment spooked some people and things started to turn and then they really got going um, in the Asian session so is 69 cents going to break today? We definitely think so. Uh, definitely is a stupid word to use for trading. We do think so. Uh, core short Aussie uh, is interesting. Dollars are. I mean, again, who wants to trade dollars are in Asia? We certainly don't. We're long a little bit from the close yesterday at 50. Um, check out the dailies. Bang. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. And you do it once again. One of our favorite uh, risk off shorts. Uh, we like long dollars are. Try and we don't actually want to get given this at 50. That means this is wrong. So now you have to wait for some sort of consolidation. Uh, I don't know where to add. There should be some trend line here that uh, you could probably draw. You dropped the bomb on me. Yeah, that's a bit steep, but somehow through this trend line, maybe up through 90, that'll be a good place to add. Uh, if you don't any, if you don't own any down from 50 or 46. Uh, just be patient. I would not dive into this at the open. Typically hysterical, these EM pairs, so you'll get a chance uh, to maybe buy a low one or at least uh, wait for some consolidation and then confirmation buying a high one. Dollar CAD's been idiotic recently. Uh, a lot of frustration. But look at that. Look at that bar. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. Doji, long tail, higher highs. I mean, that's textbook, baby. That is textbook. Dollar Cad looks like she's going higher. Uh, that, of course, means Cad Yens. Smoking the white pony. Yeah. All yen crosses are getting crushed. Dollar yen is also leaning left. Uh, but 
doesn't really know what to do dollar yen and things get really interesting below 106 uh, we've been trading cross more than we have um, straight dollar yen after the 108 10808 failure we've been just left it alone uh, but cross yen looks bad you can imagine what kiwi yen looks like Aussie yen also down 0 0.8 percent plenty of fresh air down there wonder what that weekly is going to look like it's Thursday so it's a bit early Ooh, weekly doesn't look that great actually could go anywhere uh, anyway risk off <coughs> just reselling some stocks there that we bought uh, ignore those little bells and whistles uh, what are we going to do today uh, what's out there Euro probably is going to have struggle going higher in this. Um, I haven't quite made a new daily low yet. And where is the market going to get twitchy? We saw, what was it, two days ago? Oh, no, yesterday. No, two days ago. Tuesday. We saw good, good buying in that sort of 11260 area 11260 11240 so this is the this is where the market gets twitchy 11240 uh will we get there today i don't know i don't think so um so we're not really looking too hard at euro i guess our main focus is trying to sell aussie uh, there'll be a lot of skeptics out there because of the tuesday price action um but keep in mind yesterday was another bearish failure uh but it was more important than Tuesday because of the story, right? You had Jay Powell, you had FOMC, you had people geared up. Uh, you had a market that may be long now, Aussie. We have a market that's certainly short dollars uh, as a consensus call. So um, watching this 69 figure, uh, this is now tradable. If you did get short at 90 uh, last night, Go ahead and trade a little bit, get your average a little bit higher, uh, just because things can get hectic um, with these risk-off trades, as we did see on Tuesday. But fight the fear, stay core short, stay risk-off. Um, we don't think we're going to get a repeat performance from the lunacy we saw on Tuesday. Core short Aussie. Gold uh, should should be higher. I'm not sure why it's not higher. Um, but uh, 1775, 1776, we've been talking about this level for a while, is interesting. 62 is also interesting. Core long gold looks all right. We're in the middle of the range here, so it's it's hard for me to like really really get involved with this. But just um, as far as more QE, which is surely going to happen eventually, with um, sort of the economic path I think we're going to be going on, uh, gold should eventually go higher. How to trade that, I, I don't know. Uh, gold futures are hysterical. Uh, maybe call spreads, I don't know. Uh, but we like gold higher, but we don't own it. I keep saying that over and over again. Euro Norway looks like it's turned down there. Uh, tricky. On Tuesday we revisited 45, but now it looks like this is turned. Risk off should should continue. We do like to sell oil. Uh, where and how, I don't know. I guess 3692 uh, would be a chart point, but I don't think the charts really work in oil, so um, try and sell a stretch high, if anything. And then, yes, uh, I don't know, down, down 40. No, down 30, 33 handles from that 85 close. We talked a lot about 31.84 and 31.79 last night. Um, you can resell back into those numbers, but to be fair, you really don't want to see um, a 30 handle move higher. And if you do, there's a problem. 
so if this is real, the bounces will be shallow. Uh, and you want to trade core short on a shallow bounce. You're not waiting for like, you're not range trading this saying this is going to be 3130, 3180. You're basically saying this shit is fucked. Um, you might get these sort of 13 to 15 handle bounces, but you're not going to get 30 handle bounces. If you do, it's wrong for support. Um, is down here at 44. Let's just see uh, if this is right. There'll be a big gap at the open, uh, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, the charts are a mess, as you can see. The big moves have already happened. If you're not on this, be patient. You'll have some time to get this risk-off position on. Uh, if you're on this, great. Sit tight. Um, this looks like a turn, especially in dollar cat. It looks like a turn. Dollar czar also looks like a big turn. So try and be core long dollar cat, core long dollar czar. Short Aussie works as well. And of course, we have some short ES that we're playing around with. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.